episode of What's My Aesthetic, sponsored by our good friends at Wix, we are going to meet quirky and whimsical creative weirdo Daphne. Hi, Mr. Kate. My name is Daphne, and I'm submitting this to you because I took your What's My Aesthetic quiz, and I got quirky whimsical, which was not a surprise to me. My living room slash dining room space needs a little bit of help. We'll diagnose her design woes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, guys, that was not planned. And completely transform her space into a magical, colorful, retro rainbow dream pad. Ooh. I know. This is what rug cuddle dreams are made of. So grab your paintbrushes and put on your bell bottoms because the design adventure starts now. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Kate, and I live my life as a creative weirdo. I think people's weirdness is their own brand of uniqueness. And it's my passion in life to help people define their creativity so that they can express their truest selves to the world. Maybe 60% bohemian, 30% minimalist, and 10% glam. But whatever you are, you're 100% you. So let's go on a journey together and ask the question, what's my aesthetic? Guys, we're gonna go meet Daphne. She's quirky and whimsical and I'm excited. Hi. <laughs> All right, is this your play? Oh my god! Ooh. Yes, he's very chatty. Are you the and he chattiest? Might like you. The chattiest. <laughs> All right, so this is your living room. So these are curtains that my mom made. My mom is a seamstress. <gasps> Shut up! Yeah. Would you be open to like DIYing them for me? Totally. Yeah. Hundred percent. Color. Yeah. Yeah, I would love that. And your mom would like it too. She would love that because she's, she's a creative, creative weirdo. weirdo. Too. Ultimately, we're not going to put the TV in front of the window. That's just my that's just my feeling. Well, that's my other issue with this room is there's a window here, and then there's a window back there in the kitchen, and that's it. And you yeah. just have that one overhead fan there, right. which you have on yes. because you use. Yes. Yes. You have a disco ball. I found that I today. I found that on the side of the road today. Shut yeah. up. On the side of the road, disco. I wanted a disco ball for so long, oh. and I haven't ordered one, and then I found one today. Oh my gosh. So tell me about the stool. <laughs> <laughs> they don't line up. One's small, one's tall. As with most of my furniture, I, it wasn't an intentional choice. It was just something that we acquired. So you, 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 you found two white stools that <laughs> sort of match. So maybe we can do some sort of matching situation I there. Or I just embrace hard. that. Maybe we'll write small and tall on those. <laughs> and then you got yeah. this brightly colored rug yes. here. This table so I also found on the side of the road. And you painted so the really, base of it? Yeah. What is this thing? Oh, that's a canvas that I made with my niece. We do this thing where we work on one canvas for like a few different sessions. She's only five, so she doesn't exactly <gasps> the intention span to do a full canvas. That's such a good idea to do with a kid. You kind of build upon it. Oh. Right? oh my gosh, that's amazing! Okay, so tell me then what your issues are, because I see the cuteness that's happening, but tell me. I'm just having trouble pulling it all together. When you use a lot of bright colors, it can be kind of challenging to make them all be friends and work together. Right, right. Whereas as opposed to if you have like one or two bright colors, then you know, yeah. you can like feature them. Right, right, but right. I want everything to be rainbow. Yeah, no, I right. feel you. You got popcorn ceilings. Aren't they lovely? Lovely. <laughs> and you also have this like kind of brown 70s vibe. Yeah, you could just call it ugly. <laughs> yeah, it maybe wouldn't have been what I would have chosen. There's two ways to go about it. You either distract or you embrace. So embracing like the old school like retro elements of your apartment and making it a, a like 70s quirky I whimsical. Love that. Right? You're like speaking to my soul right now. <gasps> yes! Oh my Are you an OG creative weirdo? I'm an OG creative weirdo. I've been watching since way, 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 way back in the day. Shut up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love she it. Has the Good math, you guys can math on shop on Mr. Great on Coffee. Don't have one. Okay, let's all go touch the disco ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and on three, one, two, three, go! Yeah. All right, so let's diagnose Daphne here. Walking into her apartment, you can see that she has chosen to have rainbow stuff, right? She's got a disco ball that she was working on. Those are already giving us cues that she is absolutely through and through a quirky, whimsical girl. Now, the definition of quirky, whimsical, it's actually a design style that I came up with because I felt like there wasn't really an interior design style out there that defined the people who love that really rainbow kind of fun unicorn 
fairy sort of explosion of color in the space. You could be into a cartoon character or an anime character or a movie that you like that you just want it, you know, celebrated in your space. Or you could be less into rainbow but into like a branch with some faux flowers coming down it or faux flowers on your wall. Like sort of bohemian but a little bit more into the like mystical, magical realm of things. Now, we can't ignore the fact that she lives in a 1970s brown shag carpet, popcorn ceiling, beige walls situation. So we're gonna try to change as much as we can, but it's a rental. And because it is so genre specific, we're gonna need to let that also inform the design. Cause sometimes your aesthetic doesn't match the space that you're in. So you kind of have to come to a compromise with what you like and what the space demands. So I'm going to give Daphne a resounding, off the charts, 95% quirky whimsical because she is just through and through a magical, rainbow, disco loving girl. But I'm also going to reserve 5% for Vintage Eclectic because she's in a 1970s pad. We're gonna have to kind of take that rainbow, fun, loving thing that she loves and retroify it a little bit for the 70s apartment. So, final diagnosis. Let's bring Joey in and talk about the plan, shall we? Joey, where are you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey guys, that was not planned. There's drumsticks in our office over there that he just walked by that. It's so funny. Okay. Wow, that's funky. Isn't this funky? Okay, so guys, look at what we're dealing with here. What is this big stripe? So she loves rainbow. We're gonna keep that in the space. But rather than giving her like a rainbow painted on the wall, when you walk in, we'll do yellow like along this wall and then maybe go into like the green family and then the blue family, et cetera. So we're color blocking the rainbow throughout the space as opposed to like painting something rainbow. So we're gonna use paint as our primary way of color blocking throughout the space. Right. What's another challenge we have in here? Not a lot of windows. Yeah, there's only one window. It's a sliding door, and she yeah, has her yeah, TV in front of the door. So, like, blocking the only area of light pains my heart. So, we need to figure out how to change that up. And the obvious space is the big wall along the whole back of the room. This is a long, narrow room. So here's how you can see kind of how we're color blocking the rainbow. I ordered this purple couch. Nice. I ordered these really fun yeah, those pattern are really cool. chairs. Those are like totally her vibe. Yeah, we'll do this kind of fun, like a little bit more retro black dining table, but then like lighten it up with these sort of frothy colored chairs around it. Yep. Change out the ceiling fan to something a little bit more modern because the one right now is just like, it's sad, it's really sad. <laughs> and we are going to not only be using paint, I want to use decals in this space because I think that has like a really fun retro vibe. So basically this is like the living room section. Right. And since we're dividing the paint on just a wall, like there isn't any ridge or anything to divide it. I wanna do stripes to designate that divide. Get some good crisp lines. Yes, yeah. that's your job, you'll be great at that. And then I wanna do a DIY with her, emphasizing pink on her curtains from her mom. Okay. So we'll have the pink, we've got the lavender, and we've got like every color of the rainbow. Okay, so basically tons of painting, Tons of Install the decals. We're gonna flip her TV from here, put it on this wall. Her conversation area is gonna be right in front of that with those cute chairs. I mean, chairs it's the you only got. option. You know, sometimes in a yeah. small space, like. We'll, we'll swap yeah, out this work. fan, bring in the dining table situation, and then the paint is gonna go onto the cabinets over here. Yeah, and then accessorizing with fun, quirky elements, but bringing in a little bit of 70s vibe with like some macrame lights and stuff like that. So this is gonna be a challenge. Lots of painting, decals, and trying to make popcorn ceilings and brown track carpets look like a rainbow celebration. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. That's the plan, guys. I have faith in you to keep watching, see how it turns out. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's time for another Creative Weirdo Spotlight brought to you by Wix. And today we are featuring Creative Weirdo Damaris Kovach from Arizona. 
Damaris creates incredibly beautiful handmade fiber art like macrame and weavings and I am obsessed with them. We are hooking her up with a new website to introduce her and her amazing work to all of you. Wix already starts you off with tons of gorgeous free templates for all kinds of different sites. You can drag and drop images, text, logos, galleries, literally anything you want. The possibilities are endless. And you don't even have to worry about any of the coding, you just move the elements around the page and Wix does all the hard work for you behind the scenes. I love how easily we were able to create a professional website for Damaris showcasing her photos and products. I mean, ugh, just look at it! Make sure to check out her brand new website at DamarisKovachArt.com and if you need a website, we 100% recommend checking out Wix.com to see how easy it is to make something unique. If you are working on a creative project and you want to share it with millions of other creative weirdos out there, tweet me at MrKate.com and use hashtag Creative Weirdo Spotlight. And yay, now we're ready for the decorating to continue. Oh my gosh, Daphne, <laughs> you're in the Mr. Kate series. I know you're such a long time creative weirdo. I'm so honored Big that time. you're here. So thank you for coming. Thank you for letting us invade your space. No problem. Joey's over there right now. Invade away. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah! <laughs> no, Joey's over there right now with your cat. Oh, good. Probably being distracted by them. Yeah. Let's talk about your diagnosis. Okay. okay. So I know that you have a very good, solid idea of who you are mm -hmm. as an individual and what you like. From everything that I went over and looked at and have planned for you, 95% quirky women's 95. I know. Oh my God. You're off the chart. <laughs> And then that 5% I've reserved for a little vintage eclectic. Yeah, right? totally. Because you like vintage items, you have a lot of like little accessories and things mm -hmm. that you've personalized your space with, and also you live in a 1970s <laughs> apartment. So yes. we have to acknowledge that. We do. So you also came in bearing curtains. Yes. I love it. So these are the curtains that were obviously hanging in your space, and we plan to put them back because the story is, mm. your mother is a professional seamstress. She is, my mom made those. That's so <laughs> cool. Yeah. Like, that's amazing. I was thinking because, obviously, you like rainbow. I do. Since we're embracing this sort of retro thing of like geometric shapes and stuff like that. Okay. Confetti curtains. <gasps> Confetti curtains! <laughs> I love, love that reaction. combination of words. <laughs> exactly. I cut out this one stencil so you can kind of just get an idea. We'll cut and we'll make some of our own stencils of just sort of like these larger kind of random confetti pieces. I like it. With curtains being obviously a vertical situation that we could almost an ombre effect of the confetti, like really layer it and have it be nice and clustered here and then almost like dispersing as it goes up. It's falling down from Ugly, above. Okay. You get it. Ooh, you did like some like gem kind of shapes. Like yeah. That. <laughs> and we've got our spouncers here. So that's these you know, flat ended sponges, which makes it so easy to go down straight onto the stencil. And I think we can just work our way up the curtain and then stop around like halfway to three quarters of the way up. Okay, I'm gonna just do this last one here because I feel like this Dispersion looks really good. Like, you know, it's like that falling thing. It looks so good, Ew. right? Oh my God, I love it. Like, I love, love, love this as a fun, whimsical thing. Cause I mean, confetti, life is a party. It should be a party every day. For real. It's gonna be a party in your Just part. Speak my language. <laughs> it should be fun. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> now obviously this just needs to dry. So okay. it's good that we have until tomorrow to finish your space. So we'll just leave these and you're gonna go have a slumber party with your BFF, right? Woo! Yes. All right, so let's let's head out. This is okay. so fun though. I could DIY with you every day. Yay! Okay, bye, bye, bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. She's so cute. Okay, my butt is vibrating. <gasps> there he is, right on time. Joey, 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 Joey time. Look at those fancy earrings. They're my quirky, whimsical earrings I wore in honor of Daphne. How's it going, with Daphne? So well, the curtains are so cute. We threw confetti on it. Wait, are you guys done already? 
Yeah, I just said goodbye to her. I'm just, I'm look, gonna look at the accessories. Compile. I still got a lot to do over here. What, we all the painting? We have an issue? I don't like to hear that, okay. You know the mirror tiles she has up where she has like 12 mirror tiles or whatever that we're gonna take those down and put the decals on that wall? Yeah, or the ones she DIY'd. However those were mounted and they're pulling the wall off when I take them off and we're not planning on painting this wall because it goes all the way up into the second floor and get really high up there. Okay, so then game time decision, let's leave those. I mean, they're cute, they're rainbow, she DIY'd them. Are you sure? I'm actually totally fine with it because obviously there are things that she made. But I got, I'm gonna replace this fan. I got all my tape lines going. I'm getting ready to put all the paint on the walls. Uh, I built the purple couch. Uh, then we'll get the TV out because it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so amazing. It's rainbow retro, retro rainbow. That's what we're calling it. Color block rainbow. Is that what we're calling it? Great. See you later. Love you, bye. All right, Joey's dealing with that, but let's go over the accessories. I was just packing up some of the fun, cute, quirky, whimsical items that we're gonna style in Daphne's space, which obviously bring in so much of the personality. Like we're establishing the color palette and the rainbow color blocking thing with the paint, but the accessories are so important. So let's look at some of these items like, Obsessed with this clock, you guys. Nothing says quirky, whimsical, like not knowing what time it is. <laughs> this is another really fun thing. Okay, hello, it's a peace sign. Wall hook. So you like mount this on the wall like this. Then you can hang your keys on it. Like, peace. Peace out, apartment. I'll see you later. This is like a little base. Pew, pew, a little bud base. And like, look at this pillow. This is quirky, whimsical, retro dreams right here. And it's gonna look so cute on that purple couch. Oh my God. Oh, this is a vintage eclectic accessory. So this is one that I've actually had for a long time. My grandma gave me this. She got it at a flea market in New York. But like, look at how cute with the rainbow vibes and it's like an old little like candy box or something right now it has incense in it so retro with the incense all right i gotta get this stuff packed up there's so much to do still oh my gosh paint galore but i'll see you guys in the space i got a shag rug you got a rug i got a rug guys okay it looks so good in here like the colors are just bringing the quirky whimsical vibes into this space so much look at our rainbow happening you guys did a good job on the curtains. Those are funky. I know, aren't those so cool? They wouldn't work in most spaces. We're taking lots of fun. This is a cool piece. Fun moves, Ooh. fun bold moves. I know. This is what rug cuddle dreams are made of. So we wanted to bring in a shag on shag because we're doing retro rainbow. In a space like this, because it is such a petite room, our vertical space was so important for establishing the design because we have a brown carpet and we had to make it feel like a retro rainbow. So here's the deal guys, with painting in a rental, can you do it? I mean, if you ask your landlord, oftentimes they might say, eh, you might have to paint it back afterwards. If it means painting and then having to quickly paint it back to white before you leave, like it's not that hard and it's gonna make such a difference in your life, especially if you're interested in having color around you, so. Okay, less talk, more cuddle. <laughs> this is actually a really, really, really comfy rug. And rug on rug, oh, another tip. If you're gonna put an area rug over a rug, you want it to be a nice thick pile because otherwise it will buckle. So this is a shag. Oh, shag. Okay. <laughs> it's not a shag. Height stools. We have very much upgraded their stool situation Purple now. Purple to boot. I know. Well, of course. All right, so we're centering happening. under this beautiful centering, new ceiling fan. Yeah, and look at, I love how this table's reflective too. Genius. 
It's so retro. I don't know what it is about a curve. And your palette just goes, 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 ends on that nice blue. Wait, but actually, I have a one note about this blue because I feel like these colors are really bold and then this blue is like a little bit more pale than I'd wanted it to be. So I have a quart of slightly darker blue that I think maybe we do. It's just a stripe of darker blue right there. So we're still getting the sort of stripe motif that we're doing with each color family of the rainbow over there too, just like whoo, Okay, fine, fantastic. you final touch, I'll do Street, that. just from that corner, boom, darker blue, going into lighter blue. Got it, got okay. it. Okay, all right guys, so let's just finish talking about the big things in here. We have a round table, which is so great in a smaller space because you can move around it more easily. She still has four chairs, just like she did in her last table, but this is a much more pulled together look. Obviously, we're color blocking with everything. You can really see that in the couch, right? Because I didn't use purple on the walls because I knew I was bringing in a big patch of it here with the couch. These chairs, the pattern is so retro with the flowers on it. I love these so much and they're nice and petite because another big thing that we were dealing with in here is just the size of the space. She's got a conversation area, more seating than she had before and it works. Like I can still, you know, walk around in here. There's still ways to sit and chat, etc. So I'm happy with it. Let's do the finishing touches. Guys, finishing touch time. I'm so excited because this is obviously really where we're playing with the quirky whimsical vibe so much and we're also bringing in our 5% vintage eclectic too with some of the little items. You know, the disco ball is definitely vintage eclectic. She has this giant one that she found on the side of the street, remember? So I placed that already over there and I just kind of like love it right there as a sculptural moment. And remember, vintage really means anything that's 20 years old and older. So the 70s disco was over 20 years ago. So we are bringing in the vintage eclectic with the disco balls. I've got these vases and what's great again about the rainbow color palette is literally every color goes. This is obviously a more neon moment and because the couch is petite, I don't wanna overload it with throw pillows. So this is gonna be our only throw pillow on the couch. However, she has this awesome giant floor pillow that her mom made. Like, look how cool and so 70s vibes. So this I wanna actually put into this huh, large basket I have here so that she has some extra pillows. Of course, we've got some plants on hand. I have this faux one and then also some real ones as well. And then this mirror, oh my gosh, this rattan mirror, you guys, is so cool. This is so 1970s, but also very whimsical since it has like the daisy shape to it with the flowers. So that's gonna go over there by the dining room table because you guys know putting a mirror by the dining room table is actually very good feng shui because it reflects the bounty of your food on the table. So put a mirror by your dining room table. Okay, so now I just have to place them around. Look at that line. And look at, we have the artwork that she did with her niece here and there on the stairwell. I think this was a good solve for that kind of hideous black fridge. Yeah guys, we put blue contact paper on that fridge because just the side of it was just this big patch of black and I wanted the only moment of black to be the dining table. And that starts our blue over here. What do you think, about right here? Um, wait, I think center, wait. No, over more. 
Oh, not centered on the line. Yeah, I think like three quarters on the line. Clock to top it off. Is that the right time? Nope. Great. Joey, these decals are like my favorite thing in here. I mean, we basically took popcorn ceilings and brown shy carpets and we made it a quirky, whimsical land. Don't you think? Do you know how to do this? Mm -hmm. Oh, Joey! If that hits okay. that dying. You ready to get her? Yes. All right, let's go get her. I. I knew it. Don't open your eyes. Don't open your eyes. I'm so excited. Don't open your eyes. Don't open your eyes. Right here, right here, right here. Pigtails again. Okay. I love it. All right, ready? Okay. Picture what your room looked like before. And you remember the layout yes. and your challenges with that. Uh huh. And just the challenge of it being a 70s apartment, right? Yeah. Uh huh. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh my god! <laughs> I love it so much. I love the pillow. Yeah. Is that vintage? No. Oh God, it's cute. It's new, but it does have a vintage vibe, yeah. right? Obviously, because we're trying to bring in that vintage. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? You put wallpaper sticker on the fridge. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's so much cuter. Right? It's better because the, I love like the black table because it's reflective and everything. <gasps> <Isn't this cool? laughs> You have matching you purple stools. Stool. Yeah. <laughs> we can sit together. Oh my you god! Have this amazing oh, light behind ew, you. Pretty. There's cool decals yes. on the wall. Oh my god! I love and your so mom's much. pillow in there. It's it's like a rainbow going around. You yes. notice that? Whoa! Wait, huh? Oh my god! So <gasps> it is. <laughs> oh my god! It so is. So all the colors of the rainbow are represented. We've got. The yellow into the orangey colors, and then we've got the green, blue, purple couch. We've got. I kept the saying red that this is like basically what your brain chairs. looks like. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> we embraced the fact that you had the brown carpets yes. and the popcorn ceilings, and we went with the era of the room. But yeah. It's still super quirky, super whimsical. We gave you a new fan. Isn't that nice? And that's very like retro vibes too. Yes. Kind of almost like tropical in a way. Yes. And then here's your daisy at the end yeah. of the rainbow. Also, obviously a big thing we did is we completely rethought your seating area situation. So you still have the two areas. Yeah, fuzzy rug, and that's good on top of a shag because it won't buckle or anything. It'll be really cozy. And, and a little shelf. shelf for your cell phone. So when so you come cute. in, cell phone, keys, boom. And we kept your DIY mirrors. Oh, yay, my mirrors. <laughs> I mean, the room it's matches happy, it perfectly. Yeah, yeah, it really does. A happy accident, we kept them. <laughs> what do you think? Did we get your aesthetic? Oh my god, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's so cute. Oh, good. I love oh, it so wow. much. Yay. I have a yellow door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yellow door. It's to take you out to the sunshine. Yes. Lovely, the sunshine. Thank you so oh, much. God, you were so fun. Oh my god, I love it. Thank you. I oh, said you god. were so fun. You so are so fun. <laughs> And now your room really yeah. is as fun as you are. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> this is officially dubbed the Retro Rainbow Pad. Retro Rainbow. I love it. So it's on perfect. that note, peace out. On that note, she'll bell bottom her way out of here. Yeah. I'm gonna go take some Instagram pictures in these bell bottoms. I don't wanna waste them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to take those Let's pictures. Let's go take Instagram pictures. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Daphne. You enjoy so it. Oh, Enjoy, it. Enjoy, take a seat somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>
new guy, so you can take cottage tree ceilings and brown shag carpet and make it cute. Well, you can if you have the type of style where you can paint a rainbow around her room. Exactly. <laughs> no, totally anyone can do that. Guys, universal. do you know what your aesthetic is? I feel like you might have taken the quiz already, but if you, you haven't, might not have. you might not have. Go take it on MrKate.com. Find out your unique aesthetic blend. Who knows? Maybe he's going to tell you you need to paint your room rainbow all the way around. Retro rainbow. Hey, I'm wearing these bell bottoms for the theme. Embracing the theme. Uh, it was so fun. Speaking of embracing, I love you. Love you. Embracing uh, the theme. Embracing my love, Joey. Thank you so much, Wix, for sponsoring today's episode. Yeah. Guys, if you need a cool website, go check out Wix.com. You can pretty much do anything you want on Wix. So yes. check that out. And submit your Creative Weirdo Spotlight on Twitter. Hashtag Creative Weirdo Spotlight so we can pick our next Creative Weirdo Spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> Big thumbs up for that room, right? She did yeah. so good. She, she did so good. You did so good. She did so good. You did so good. <laughs> We're gender neutral. Okay, great. So stay creative, stay weird, stay you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, oh my god, you're dipping. <laughs> no, let's be I, like cute sitcom This is a rug too. Look, we're cute sitcom people. Do 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 do. <laughs> it's so Brady Bunch. Mm. <laughs> okay, moving on.